We buy high-end products to make our simulation experience more immersive. With so many GT3 wheels out there, it's difficult to stand out from the crowd. Russell Sim Racing claims to make the only true replica Audi R8 GT3 wheel on the market. What they've created is a carefully crafted piece of hardware focusing on authenticity. I've spent some time with it over the past few weeks and today I'm going to share my thoughts. I'm Lawrence, welcome to the channel. Introduction. On the left you'll see all the sections in this video. I've put timestamped links to each section in the description below. While you're down there, please hit the thumbs up button to help YouTube suggest this video to others like you. 75% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about upcoming reviews. This steering wheel has been carefully crafted by hand. But how is it any different to other wheels? Authenticity was the key here, so everything from the diameter of the grips to the curved surface plate has been meticulously built to be as close to the real thing as possible. What we end up with is a visually impressive product that will appeal to purists who will not simply settle for a cheap lookalike. Unique features. The buttons used are the exact buttons you'll find on a real GT3 ring. I don't just mean the way they look, I mean if you had a real R8 GT3 and one of your buttons was broken, you could take one of these buttons from your sim racing rig and replace it in your real car. I know that's not a realistic scenario, but to those who care, it matters. Where most R8 and Huracan GT3 wheel replicas use a flat wheel face, they do so to keep costs down and reduce the complexity of the product. While this is good enough for most customers, it leaves the wheel looking and feeling a little, well, fake. Russell Sim Racing has reproduced the faceplate to the same model using the same materials. Of course, it doesn't matter to the overall functionality of the wheel, but again, to those who care, it matters. Installation. There are no drivers required for this wheel and it interfaces via USB. The USB cable attaches with a high quality aluminium connector and a coiled cable. Again, similar to when I reviewed the Ferrari 488 GT3 rim, I'd like this coiled cable to be a bit more supple and a little bit longer. Most sim racers with a high end rig will be running their wheel to USB port which isn't exactly within easy reach of the wheel. Perhaps they could include a generic USB 2 extension cable as part of the package. Installing a quick release for me was slightly trickier than expected as my NRG quick release system requires bolts to come from the wheel side. The complexity of installing a quick release is far less if your bolts tighten in the direction of the wheel rather than the direction of the quick release. The flange that Russell Sim Racing included has a very large lip which makes passing bolts through it quite difficult. As a result I had to go out and buy some 20mm M5 bolts especially to get it all mounted together. I use this NRG2 quick release from my real road cars as it also fits my Simagic wheelbase and the carbon fibre just looks absolutely amazing like a match made in heaven. Build quality. This steering wheel is handmade by a small company. It's not perfect but it's really good. The rear housing of the button plate is very impressive and looks very handmade. They 3D printed the internal housing and coated it in carbon fibre for that authentic look for this particular prototype. However, now that they know the final shape, all future versions of the wheel will be sold in solid carbon fibre without a 3D printed internal housing. The hand grips are very comfortable, albeit a bit spongy or hollow in places. It seems like the tension on the Alcantara material is causing this spongy effect, combined with a lack of firm padding between it and the grip. I am assured however that this is by design and that the material is very very unlikely to rip. This particular wheel is a prototype sent to me so that I can give my honest opinion about the product and its place in the market. However the stickering is weak to say the least, even for a prototype. For a product which is focusing on being a piece of art, branding shouldn't be an afterthought. Although the faceplate is made of metal, it's actually covered in a carbon fibre effect sticker. This is not a cost saving measure, 
Believe it or not, the real GT3 wheels also have this carbon effect stickering. The main button decal sticker, which covers the whole steering wheel plate, looks to be too small, but again, this is how some real life examples present the sticker. However, I'd love for the stickering to blend in under the grips a little bit better. This large sticker looks like it was applied in a rush. Before releasing this video, I relayed my concerns to Jakob in Rosso Sim Racing, and I'm assured that future versions of this wheel will have more care applied to the sticker application. For reference, here are some images of one that have just been sent out to a customer. The Alcantara grips have holes in them at the rear to allow access to the bolts which hold the whole thing together. I don't know how these holes will stand up to long term use and you don't particularly notice the holes when using the product as they're facing away from you. They just look a little bit odd, I'd love if they weren't there. Again when I asked Rosso Sim Racing about this they told me that the material doesn't rip and won't cause any issues. One thing worth noting is that we judge our sim racing products to a far higher standard than most real life racing steering wheels. If you've ever walked through the pits of a WEC event, you'll see steering wheels held together with grip tape and even cable ties. There comes a point when we realise that authenticity may not be exactly what we're looking for. We just want to get close and in many cases do better. On the plus side, this wheel is visually stunning with good buttons and encoders, lovely stitching to give a real premium feel and some of the best shifters I've ever used. This leads us nicely into the next section. Shifters. These shifters are the best shifters of any sim racing wheel that I've ever used. Fans of the channel will know how much I love steering wheels and this praise doesn't come lightly. And I'm including Cube Controls, Fanatec, Thrustmaster, Asher and lots of other brands in this comparison. The construction of the shifters is pure carbon and the lever system used allows for a delicate clinical gear change which sounds and feels absolutely incredible. There's adjustment in the shifters too, albeit limited. If I could fit these shifters to all my other wheels, I would. They are that good. Price. Handmade, high-end, carbon fibre, that stuff does not come cheap. This wheel is to retail at €840, Euro, which is not pocket change, and considerably more than the Ferrari GT3 rim I reviewed about a year ago. This product is made for the purists. It's made for people who care about being able to tell the difference between a real one and a piece of sim racing hardware. This wheel is not made for those looking for a feature-rich experience. It's made for those who have GT3 DNA running through their veins. It's made for people who rely on button boxes for extra toggle switches and directional hats. It's made for people who don't want to change on-screen menus or pit strategies mid-race. It's made for the purists and those of you who fit this bill will easily justify this price tag. Final thought. The experience of using this wheel is very rewarding. Knowing its story and the passion behind it makes it more appealing to me. I'll admit, I'm not a huge GT3 fan, but products like this and my RaceLogic lap delta timer give my rig an air of authenticity that lasts far beyond the racetrack. You can hang this wheel on the wall like a piece of art, even if you're not a sim racer. For those who buy it, it may be just a status symbol, or it may be their main wheel. It's more than capable of doing both. The presentation of this wheel is nice, but although the case is impressive, a simple sticker on the outside would brand it nicely as this generic brand really cheapens the look. Inside, the green felt is a bit much for me. It reminded me of the Joker from Batman, while simultaneously looking a little bit like a casket for a dead body. It's funny that I never actually got this feeling with the 488 GT3 rim from Russell Sim Racing, probably because of the colour of the silky material. The ability to specify this colour would be a very nice and very welcome customization. As I mentioned, the stickering is weak. It's poorly applied and the Rosso Sim Racing stickers look like they were applied on someone else's product. The logo needs to be part of the foundation of this product, not an afterthought. For example, I want to see the Rosso logo laser engraved on the wheel, similar to what you might see on a Nardi steering wheel. Even better, engrave the rear of the wheel or the carbon fibre housing to keep that subtlety and allure. The Made in Poland sticker looks better, but again, the position is a little peculiar. The shifters are perfect, actually perfect. I challenge any of you to point me in the direction of better shifters. 
the lack of pivot rotation on the shifter paddle and the strength of the magnets just ooze quality and allure. These shifters should be a product in their own right and Russell Sim Racing would sell lots of them to DIY enthusiasts. With minimal work, this product will be so much closer to the perfection that it represents. Right now, the issues I've mentioned need some attention. Only then will I be able to say that this product is actually worth €840. Euro. I have no doubt that countless hours of research, development and manufacturing have gone into this product. I also have no doubt that this video will still encourage many people to buy, despite the minor flaws I've pointed out. Said flaws may well be fixed by the time your order is fulfilled, and I invite Russell Sim Racing to comment below. I'll pin your comment and I'll do my best to give the viewers the most accurate information I have. I'd also love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. I'm Lawrence, and I'll chat to you later.